So there is an indication that uh, 10th December uh, historical data is uploaded successfully for all the scripts. We don't need to do it. And we'll have to directly take the current day data at uh, 9.15. We'll get the prices for Nifty and Bank Nifty, the entry prices. And for the rest of the scripts, it's already indicated here, 9.30 for uh, SBI, 9.20 for Tata Motors, 9.30 again for uh, l and TCS, 9.30, and uh, Reliance, it's 9.20. So at uh, 9.20 and 9.30, we will pick the current data ones, then the option data, then compute. Then we just put it on order refresh mode, and then uh, we take the trades as and when uh, we get the entries. So meanwhile, uh, even the futures tree is a wonderful uh, <coughs> application again. Here we have 30 scripts. Uh, all these 30 are highly traded scripts from uh, various uh, industry domains. We have banking, we have uh, IT, motors, we have infra, we have real estate, uh, pharma, metals, oil and gas, telecom, and uh, FMCG. So the idea of having all the domains, industry domains, is uh, on a certain days you can uh, pair trade them. So this also works very well. So roughly you can see uh, most of the scripts gives you at least around 10% returns uh, on your investment, that is on intraday basis. Both these <coughs> applications, what we have, are purely intraday applications. And uh, what we have in uh, trading tree is both intraday and uh, positional. So you can see we have got a buy call in uh, USD INR. <coughs> So all the three uh, we have on buy call. So the markets will uh, open slightly gap down. So it's 9.15. So we will click on the current day data. So it will be a 6,300 strike. Uh, we got the entry prices from 56322 on the upper side, 6292 on the lower side. So you buy a call option uh, when Nifty reaches 6322. You buy a put option if Nifty touches 6292. So we are ready to get this uh, option data from the server. So we will again click on the option data once. <coughs> Likewise, uh, for Bank Nifty, again the entry is 11827 on the upper side. We will buy a call option at that price. And uh, in case if it goes down to 11668, you will buy and put option with a strike of 11800. So we'll take the current day data again at uh, 9.24 uh, some more scripts, that is Tata Motors and uh, Reliance. And at 9.30 we will uh, do it for l and and uh, SPI.
So we have one cell called an empty. So it's 920. We'll take the current day data again. <coughs> I'm just click the compute button. So let's change the strike of TCS to 2000. So here it goes. Uh, so we have a cell call and reliance. It started at uh, 879. The strike is 880. So the Tata Motors, uh, the entry is at 383, 28 on the lower side. So you will uh, buy and put option with a strike of 380 at that price. So you got that call on uh, Tata Motors also. So the overall trend in the market is down. You can see that here we have got a cell call and empty in trading tree. This is one. So for the rest of the scripts, uh, we will take the current day data at 9.30. So in the futures file, we did take the historical data. Let's take the current day data once. So we have an uh, buy call in HDFC. ICICI access is and TCS are not ready to trade it because we are seeing this uh, vertical uh, lines. The pro is also not ready. Sipla is already a buy call. ITC is a buy. So we will again take the current day data at 9.30 for uh, the rest of the scripts here. We will just go back to Let's check the <coughs> charts once. So there we can see the SPI gap down. The reliance is also in gap down. It's TCS. Data motors. Most, most of the scripts are all uh, gap down. Let's see how Nifty turns out to be. Long term it is still on uh, the lower side.
So we'll be taking the current day data for uh, LNTTCS and uh, SBI at uh, We did see yesterday we had uh, some good calls, good calls on almost all the scripts. And today there might be some some scripts that might give us uh, trades. Because Tata TCS was uh, on uh, something like it hit expanding targets and went beyond that. 